Okay, so here I am again. Uh, I haven't uh, spoken of the peanut size model. So I've got uh, a plan here of a, a Walt Mooney uh, Piper Colt. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, using the same principles as earlier, I'm going to put the piece in there, line it up, and I have the, the peanut cutter. I'm cutting and marking all in one stroke here. So I can go here. Now, this piece here will have to be adjusted a little bit. There's a bit of space there. But for illustration purposes, this is, this is fine. That's quite hard in the balsa wood there. So we're, we're speaking exactly the same method. And again, I'm keeping away from this corner here, which uh, normally would be would be glued there. But uh, okay, I want to get in there, get my angle. and get rid of this little bit of wood here. And straighten out this block. Let's get down here. And I'm pushing up towards the top. I'm pushing with the marker cutter. And it's, it's a marker and a cutter at the same time, as I said. Okay. And I just leave it in place and Okay, so looks like a pretty good fit. Uh, let's do another one over here. You might notice that I don't have any wax paper under the plan, but as I said, I'm not going to be gluing anything down here. This is simply for illustrating what I'm doing. So pushing up against there to make sure that I have a, a thing in parallel with the that strip. Out comes that little bit of wood. Push that back down. And, okay, we're cutting here. And between the other pieces that we cut uh, earlier, so there's three here and about five earlier, so that's eight for eight, not a bad record. We're going to move over to the Miss Canada again for uh, something I spoke about the Kiss Principle, so it'll be maybe a further illustration. Okay, I mentioned uh, earlier uh, this other tool, but I didn't say anything about it. It's uh, the same as the tool for peanut models, but it has a blade that'll cut one eighth of an inch thick. And uh, the, the blade's uh, use epoxy for gluing all these blades in place, uh, whether it's gluing the sticks or just the blades. Epoxy works pretty well there. And why this blade? Because with the KISS principle, I'm going to be cutting that. And I'm coming back here and I'm lining it up quite well. And I'm going to cut right through here. So, another one. You, you'll notice there that I didn't take the, uh, the strip out and put it on the block. Again, getting the angle, cutting, and here we go. Let's get lined up here a hundred percent. Okay, so I'm coming back down here. I'm pulling again the, the blade towards me and holding it down and it's um, just a, a pretty nice fit. Let's do take this old one out here. When I said that this is almost a, an automatic process, 
Uh, I'm not sure if you'll accept that just like so there, but after after a bit of practice you get the feel of this and uh, you'll probably be doing it uh, much better than I'm doing it. So we want to put that in place. I'm pushing up against the top launcher on, pushing down against the bottom one with the, the cutter marker and down we go and so that is I think that all that we can say uh, today uh, for that. The, uh, the pin pushers, uh, you drill the hole in the end of that to enable you to, to put the block in, uh, to drive the pin to whatever depth you, you want to. My uh, gypsum wall board is a half inch thick and this is about uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch so you, you make the depth of your hole, you can practice on a piece of quarter inch block so it's the depth of the hole plus, plus the block gives you a certain length of pin out there. So uh, I think this uh, will wind up uh, part three and any questions uh, here you can uh, write me at uh, Harrier2 uh, that's H A R R I E R two at Rogers dot com, and uh, I'll be glad to take any questions. And a final thank you to Stephanie here for the great camera work. Thank you.